Hello everyone. For today's FPSC presentation, our group will be presenting on the topic of mobile phone drop test simulation using LS Dyna. My name is Raj Vardhan Thorat, and my group me uh, group me uh, members names are Aditya Ade, Yogita Zado, and Dinesh Danuka. So, uh, in the following uh, presentation, the contents are the objective of this uh, project, the procedure which we'll be using, the result, and the contour animation. So the objectives of the presentation are to prepare for the drop test simulation of mobile phone on the floor by setting up the model, then to prove the initial velocity of the mobile uh, so that it goes and hits the uh, rigid four at a certain velocity to get the output counter animation and other pl uh, plots upon the running the simulations. Then the procedure being importing the model. So first we are going to import the LS uh, Prepost software and then uh, importing the file, the keyword for the file being .k file. Then we uh, we see that the model consists of a phone and floor parts which have already been meshed as shown in the image. So the <coughs> assigned materials are uh, phone and the floor. For the phone, uh, we are using aluminum uh, material properties. Although many uh, material models exist for metal, one of the most robust uh, models is matte. Uh, dash 024 and matte price wise linear uh, plasticity. This is the material model in that standard workhorse and it is a recommended starting point for uh, elastic plastic simulation of materials and general plastic since it can be handled uh, velocity, uh, velocity uh, yeah, behavior and uh, defining the material we are using. Matte dash uh, 024 matte uh, piece wise linear uh, plasticity. This is the material type 24 which is an uh, elastoplastic material with uh, absolutely stress. So the material identification, a unique uh, number and label not be exceeding eight character must be spe uh, specified. The full forms of the terms are given as below. So we are using the LS Dyna software and the inputs are given in the parameters which are we going to set are uh, shown in the figure. So assigned sections are section Define the section for uh, properties for different elements. For sh uh, shell elements, we are shell dash uh, section dash shell, and for solid elements, we are using section dash solid. The mobile phone element and a part of the plate element are made of solid elements. So we are the uh, uh, we are going to see the section dash solid. Uh, this is in the figure. We can uh, input the data we just uh, explained earlier. So here on my. Uh, Met, uh, Aditya will be taking over. So the contact creations. So the mobile phone has been dropped onto the floor and the contact must be created between these parts or else the mobile phone will simply pass through the floor. So we are going to use two-way contact definition. The two-way contacts, uh, masters and slave are reversed and contact check both ways. Uh, contact algorithms are uh, penalty based. So use of this numerical springs to prevent penetration of nodes of one surface into segments of the other transfers load between two parts. So the contact automatic surface to surface is defined between the mobile phones and the floor is set to be mastered uh, to be master and mobile phone is set to slave and master and slave type is set to be part ID. So this, these are all key keywords given uh, in the slide as shown. So we have set all these keyword input forms uh, as shown in the figure. So the boundary conditions that we are going to use uh, are the point constraint is used to uh, used on floor to lock all the degree of freedom during the simulation. So that floor doesn't move during the impact of the phone, uh, mobile phone. So each degree of freedom is set to be one. A value of zero means no contact and one means degree of freedom is locked. So we have set that uh, degree of freedom to one so that the floor doesn't drop when the mobile phone drops on the floor. So the initial velocity, so the initial velocity is defined to the, uh, defined to the mobile phone with the value of 10 meters uh, millimeters per uh, second. So uh, in negative Z direction, which is towards the floor as uh, we have shown. So we have given all uh, all the keywords here as shown in the figure. So we have set these keyword input forms. So next, the control cards. So the control termination is defined at the time with simulation ends or uh, ends or the end time of the simulation. 
and it is set to the five uh, five ms. So, as shown in the figure, the uh, control energy provides controls for the energy dissipation options. So these all are uh, as set in the figures we have shown. So database creation will be explained to you by Yogita. <coughs> Database creation binary D3 plot is defined as the frequency at which the animation file is to be created and is set to 0 0.1 ms. Here, uh, DT time frequency at which the time animation files should be printed. Model check we perform model checking to find any errors or warnings present simulation model. Results we save the LS China keyword file in different folder and we go to the LS run manager and run the simulation by importing the LS Dyna keyword file. The simulation finishes successfully with the normal terminations. Then go to the message file and open the text editor to see the time taken to complete the simulation. Counter animation. We input the binary D3 plot keyword file and first we plot the counter animation for one misses stress. For that, we go to the post processing tab and click on the fringe component. Then we plot the uh, vomice stress under the stress tab. The mini vomice stress is found to be at 0 gigapascal at element number 7243 and max vomice stress is found to be at 0 0.067 2 gigapascal a, at element 6278. We also plot the effective strain under the strain rate tab. The mean effective strain is found to be at 0 at element number 72. 4, 3, and the max von Mises stress is found to be at 0 0.30316 at the element 622. Conclusions. We have initially set up the drop test model by assigning section, material boundary conditions, control cards, and database. We have simulated with a 5 ms run time. We have also taken the animation counter for von Mises stress and effective strain. Also, we have plotted the plots for global energy data, material, and uh, hard glass energy and contact forces. A stop kill, I mean. Uh, 